first movie. <laughs> that was pretty fun. We're headed out as a family today to go see Frozen 2. So Laura, are you excited to go see Frozen 2? Yeah. I'm excited to see the new one because in number one, Anna was the main character and it seems like in this one, Elsa's the main character. So I can kind of see different views of like, of them. Uh-huh. I think I'm most excited about the music because the music in these movies is so good. I want to see Elsa and Anna. What's your favorite song? Let it go, you never see me fly. Here I stay like that one. You like that one? Mm -hmm. All right, you guys go find some seats that are all together. Okay. So we chose to come to an earlier morning showing so it wouldn't be so crazy busy. Are you hurrying? Yeah. Okay, the movie hasn't started yet. You're good. Okay. Where's the movie? The movie is gonna be up there on that giant screen. Oh. It just hasn't started yet. Yeah. So we're waiting. But it'll come soon. First movie. Your first movie is Frozen 2. Yay! So we had the kids all bring jackets because last time we came to a movie, they were freezing the whole time. It's amazing how taking a kid to do something for the first time makes it magical and new for all of us as well. <laughs> Are you super excited? <laughs> now, it's gonna be pretty loud. This isn't like watching on our TV at home. Yeah. So you just cover your ears, and I'll cover your ears if you're nervous. And if you're ever scared, you can just put your head in my chest. I'll hold you, okay? I'll be here for you. And if you ever want to leave the theater, we can do that too. Okay. We can just say, I'm going to take a break. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Isaac comes in with some jabbing punches. Caleb holds back in a defensive posture. Caleb goes in. Isaac tries to reach for his thumb. Caleb waits for the right time to pounce. Caleb goes in. Uh oh. Victory for Isaac with the bigger thumb. <gasps> the lights are going down. It's starting. I'm, I'm a little scared. I caught you right here. If you're scared, okay? Are you excited? <laughs> This is a preview. This isn't the actual movie yet. Janae is ready for the movie to start. She's sick of the previews. Here it comes. Going to the Cheesecake Factory. We'll see how this goes. Well, after an hour of walking around, we finally found a place with gluten-free food at the mall, but Janae was melting down at that point. So starving and standing in front of the restaurant, we all had to walk back to the car and drive home, and we're all a little bummed about it. I think Janae screamed the entire time. 
but that just happens sometimes when you got five kids and you're going out to eat and it's a two-year-old being a two-year-old. So we're doing leftovers for lunch. So during lunch, we're recapping some of our favorite moments from the movie. We won't spoil any of it for you by being specific, but one of the things I loved about it was the theme that as things are always changing, you need to focus on the next right step to take. And I loved how it didn't take itself too seriously. There was a lot of times where it was kind of making fun of itself or being silly and uh, we laughed a lot. It's awesome. I think it was one of my, the movies that I laughed the hardest. Yeah, you were laughing hard. You were sitting next to me. It mm -hmm. was some serious The laugh. second best one was phenomenal. Janae, where are we going before dinner? Swimming. Swimming. Dad. You want me to carry you? Yeah. Are you swimming? Yeah. I'm almost close. You're almost there. Janae's trying to get this bucket. Okay, let's go back. That was pretty fun. Yeah, it was. Well, while Janae's over here swimming around, the other kids are over on the swings over there. Well, I've been hit with a wave of overwhelm and discouragement and anxiety, maybe sadness. I just feel like sitting down and having a really good cry. I'm exhausted, I'm worn out, and I feel like there's way more to do than I could ever possibly get done. And I feel like the to-do list just keeps growing, not shrinking, and I feel like my mind's going crazy trying to keep track of all the stuff that needs to happen, and I'm just overwhelmed and tired of being overwhelmed. I feel like this year has been a lot, a lot for our family, and I'm grateful for all the experiences we've had and all we've learned through it, like I would do it all again to learn the things that we've learned, but I'm just tired, like soul tired. Like I just, I need a rest with our move and the holiday is right around the corner. I don't see rest in my horizon. I'm trying to focus on gratitude and taking one step at a time. That's totally from Frozen 2 this morning. Do the next right thing it's hard not to let my brain focus too far forward and then get overwhelmed. So I'm gonna get up, I'm gonna get something done. For dinner, we're having ravioli. I eat grateful for raspberries. You know, are you thinking about raspberries? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're gonna have some grateful raspberries tomorrow. see what they did. So how are you guys feeling about moving? I'm kind of excited. I like our new house that we're moving into. Yep, so we're moving from this house to just another house not too far away. Thanks for helping clean up, bro. Yeah. You have a weird head. <laughs> you working on crocheting? What are you making? I'm making a pot. <laughs> Janae came and snuggled up against me and she said, Mom, I'm not grown up yet. You still a little baby? Yeah. You still my little girl? <laughs> I don't want to grow up. I want to be like Peter Pan. So how are you feeling about moving? That's coming up for us. I'm feeling very tired of moving. We've it's done been a, lot. a lot of moving. It'll be good. It'll be good to get into the new house and get settled. We've loved it here. We're going to love it there. That's one thing we've definitely learned. We can be happy anywhere. What are you excited about for the new house? Um, my bedroom. Yeah. Me We're going to be sharing with Janae, so. That's the plan. We'll see. We'll see how that transition goes. So the weather here in Puerto Rico is so beautiful in the evenings. We get this nice breeze off of the ocean. And so Jeremy and I have gotten into the tradition here at this house of after the kids are in bed, coming outside and being outside in the fresh air and talking. It's been really nice. 
we've needed that with all the hard things that we've been going through and just being able to connect, relate, listen to each other and be there for each other. I think we leave our phones inside. Yeah. That's an important part of it because yeah. we're just talking with each other and there's not all the distractions. When we're inside, I see the laundry and I see this other mess and then it's harder to focus. Yeah. Good night. J House out. <laughs> I can't vlog. Let's try that again. This is what the Johnstons are grateful for in 2019.